What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gen 7 of Saga Log. Obviously, only half of these party members actually are going to make it. I have no idea, so we're going to turn it off. But hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day today. We are starting in a new era of Sog Log. Generation 7. This is the first time we have hit this generation, and we have now initiated the next checkpoint, which is so glad to be able to see and to know. Like, the next checkpoint's here. We don't have to worry about that checkpoint or getting that checkpoint anymore. We're here. We get to see Kikui's packs for as long as we need. That's what we get to do. Uh, but no. Honestly, I'm so glad that we're finally past where we were. I was worried that if we lost Generation 6 again, what I was going to do. Because I, I don't know where we were series-wise. And if I was going to actually be able to continue with this or not. But we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and, you know, talk about Alola. I'm worried about Alola. But not, I'm like worried, but not worried about Lola. I'm worried more so for the length of Lola rather than the difficulty of Lola. Um, we did slash we were supposed to randomize all the totems and everything that went on. So I'm hoping that everything is to specification. Um, because we randomized the statics uh, with the randomized sword. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. We're solid. We're solid. We're solid. I'm, I'm over worrying as per usual. Yas, queens. Uh, um, what are we? You know what? I have not been. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have this be our character. We're gonna be Gwen. Gwen hasn't been receiving a lot of love lately in this stuff. We need Gwen to get all the loves and supports. So we're Gwen. I've never been the female character. Why not? Let's go for it. Gwen, uh, yes. Uh. And then it makes it more acceptable for me to. Yeah, the name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Can't wait to see you in person then. I can never wait to see you in person. I stew on it, think about it, and then, you know, it just happens. Come help me with this boxes when we're out here idolizing loose me and like just nobody's business. Okay. So this is gonna be one of a longer choose your starter. Um because there's a lot that goes on in this game before you get to choose your starter. So, there's a lot of contemplation and a lot of things going on. I don't know 100% what you left me with, but I can take a gander and a guess that, hey, you're probably going to leave me with the two electric weaknesses. My guess is you're leaving me with the two uh, like the two quad, quad effective electrics and Troy. That's been my guess. Um, although... I don't know. I just, that's been my guess this entire time. But anything can happen. And I'll be curious to see what you guys ended up choosing. Um, considering the fact that this is a choose my starter episode, I don't really necessarily know what what's going to be on tap for that either. Because anything, any, in any event, with the fact that I had to record both of these so close to each other, it could be literally anything. Three months later. God, I have a fat ass zit right here. It's actually, I got two of them. And you guys could see it from the get go. But, you know, now I'm pointing it out. So now you, that's all you can get to look at. Great. Dude, I am so messed up. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da. Aw, oh, could there anything be more smooth soothing than Alola's calm moon? I could stay out here all night. But enough of that. Gotta unpack my boxes. I got a special guest coming over. I know. I know you do. I'm jealous, okay? 
Don't need to rub it in. Our switch and our rooms. Th this room is like literally my room, an organized mess. <laughs> it's not really organized right now, let me tell you. I've got some clothes to hang up. Marar. Marar. Okay. Let us get up. Oh, there you go. I had to hit that button. Oh my god, this movement is terrible. Oh my god, I feel so bad for all the like girls that had to play the like that use the girl character. Why? Why is it like this? What the heck? It's like robot. It's like they didn't take any time to actually model her at all. Oh god. Ooh. Yep. So Gwen, have you come to meet a lone land Pokemon? Of course. We're gonna meet uh, Buzzwool and it's gonna be a bad day for us in multiple ways. Oh my gosh, your person's here. What am I doing wrong? Oh. Wait, is it, is my belongings in a different spot than normal? Wait a minute. Mom, where's my stuff? Oh, <laughs> we gotta let your, uh, your, uh, bunk buddy in. Well, what if I don't want to let your bunk buddy in? You're not allowed to have a bunk buddy. Cause he's mine. Okay, but he's not, he's not yours. He's mine, by the way. Um, so, uh, you ready, Kukui? Feeling any jet lag? You're sure a long way from Kanto out here in the Lola. It's still a nighttime out here, yeah? Oh, wait a minute. That line makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. But it wouldn't necessarily be jet lag, would it? No, it would be. Because jet lag is like when you come back right so you're coming back and you're getting screwed over by that time zone and that would make sense because Kanto's like 17 hours ahead or something like that maybe even more maybe even closer to 20 hours ahead of where Lola would be god that'd be killer because Hawaii is three hours we're three hours ahead of Hawaii in most cases and Japan 17 hours ahead of yeah dang Oh, I mean, but at a certain point, does it really, that 20 hours doesn't really feel like 20 hours, it really just feels like 8, which is still a lot, I've never experienced an 8 hour time gap, um, and don't plan to, really, um, not right now at least, uh, I would mean in the future, maybe, I'm not gonna count out that possibility, I wouldn't mind exploring other, uh, countries and other places but <laughs> the state of the world right now probably not but you know what the state of the world is gonna change so it's fine okay so let's go ahead oh frick. why is it just set to my that's another thing i think it's because it's set for some reason to my d-pad it's messing this up the hardcore we got a bag and a hat can i just change that real quick actually and figure it while we have cutscene galore anyway. Although I do know why it was set like that. Oh my gosh, we got a hat. Look at our hat, mother. We have a great hat. Hey, Kakui commented on it too, which means that it's really good. Also love how the bottom screen is just gonna be nothingness. Your mom there, she's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon. Oh, she's looking forward to getting her first Pokemon too. If you know what I mean. Um, 
Uh, bye, Kukui. I'm scared you. Yay, I successfully blocked my meta. Oh my gosh, why? I literally just changed it. It's like, nope. Nope, you're not allowed to use that. Okay. Fine. I guess I'll use the D-pad. <laughs> Jonas would be like, but bro, I use it all the time. Why are you complaining? I'll be like, because I'm not used to it. Okay, buddy. God, I've got so much to, like, explore. Not really, but I've got so much that I can do. That was weird. Oh, we're going the other direction. So, Gwen, you love it a little already, yeah? I guess, yeah. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. The happier you'll be. Your happiness is how happy I am. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I mean, I guess technically he's the professor, so yes. But... Ooh, can we go grab that? Can we go grab that Kakui? See, that? if you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive in the tall grass here, yeah? Catch a wild Pokemon and add them to your team. No, Kakui, let me pick up that item. Kakui, no, 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 no. Don't make me mad. Don't make me mad, Kakui. Let me pick up that item. Kakui, Kakui, let me grab that item. Kakui, come on, Kakui. Dude, there's so much going on right now. Having people gives you a whole Pokemon that gives you a whole a new way to communicate with people. Now let's move into Ikihan. Let me get the item. I can't get there without going in the grass. Oh. Triggered. Dude, it's even in the... I think that's more triggering. It's just chilling in the cutscene. Like, haha, -ha, you can't grab this right now. Ha 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 ha. It's like... But that's like an ultimate test to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Um... What's going on here? We're supposed to meet everybody here, right? Maybe they're back in Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guard de guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are. Gwen, do me a solid. Go find the Island Kahuna. I'll wait here and make sure that we don't miss each other. The Island Kahuna, you can't miss him. He just looks like a Kahuna. What is that supposed to mean? Lily! Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't want... I don't know what you hope to find there. But we're going anyways, because I'm not in charge of my Pokemon. You're supposed to be in charge of your own Pokemon, Lily. You're supposed to be the one in charge, not... Nebby. Nebby's not supposed to be in charge. You are. Let me go run up and tell you. You're just like letting your Pokemon dictate you. It's like the it's like the owners, like the pet owners that let their dog kind of just do their thing, and their dog runs the owner. And it's like, but you're the owner of the dog. If anything, companionship, yes, but the dog doesn't own you. <laughs> companionship does not mean one person owns the other. It means that you guys work together for the common goal, <laughs> making each other happy. But whatever. Making sure you guys live your best lives. Hi, Willie. Lily, 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 Lily. Ah. What's wrong, Lily? Why are you so stupid? Save Nebby. Yeah, no, I'm actually not because you were stupid and actually listened to your Pokemon. And your Pokemon wanted to do this but was not trained enough to deal with the circumstances of the situation. So, no. Lily's gonna get a lot of crap, by the way. I hope you guys know that, and I'm sorry. The spirit are attacking it. I can't go. I, I, I'm too afraid to go. I feel like my legs are gonna give out. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not gonna pick him up. Well, unfortunately, I have to. <clears throat> I don't have a choice. You know, because this 10 year old kid's gonna go on a wobbly bridge to save this Pokemon. Nabby. What are you doing, Nebby? Out here trying to kill me. I see how it is. I see how it is, Lily. 
I see how it is. Let me go ahead and get my freaking manicure done. Okay. You tried to kill me. But we got saved by the Tapu Koko. Okay. If only it was Tapu Kui. But, you know, that's that's another decision for another day. I'm mad at you, Lily. You're gonna get destroyed. In battle. Even though we don't battle you at all. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages. I don't want you. Don't want to see you like that again. No. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nabby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And even... I, I couldn't even help you in this turn. You got a sparkling stone. Sparkling stone. Sparkling stone. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful for you for helping us out of the dangerous spot and risking your life for... my Pokemon. Are you the Kahuna? I think it's a I think this stone must belong to you. Yay, we got more jewelry. Please don't tell anyone about seeing this about Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come back in the bag, Nebby. You're not allowed to be seen by anyone. Okay, Nebby, whatever. Oh shoot, I need to save. Um I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much, but do you think you could see us back to town? Crap, crap. Oh, yeah, yeah that's fine. Save. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Hey, we can go back to the town with you. Because now that we've saved, we have the cutscene initiations. And then we end the episode off of whatever Pokemon you guys wanted to decide to choose. And honestly, I don't even know. Like I said, I don't know what I'm getting into at all. At all, at all. So, I'll be curious to see what transpires and what happens, but... Hey, Gwen! Looks like you missed the kahuna, ya. Yeah. But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like you already met, but in case, this is my assistant. Um, yes, call me Lily. And Lily, this... Here's Gwen. She just moved here to Alola. Take good care of her. Oh, yes. You're one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna's back! Oh my god, he's returned our guardian and the chosen one is back! Only the strongest Pokemon users in Alola! Why is he the first gym child? No, I know that's not how it technically works, but... I must have missed something. Nah! But where'd you go off, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am the kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there's a problem on the island, it's my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I saw, I saw Tepu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge and when this girl helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. But then, when the gar I mean, I island's guardian deity swooped in to save them, Whoa, you don't hear that every day. Ho oh, ho, although it is said to protect us, our Tapakoko is a fickle pre creature. Tapakoko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems we have to entrust this brave, young, and kind girl with one of our own. We'll make her a fine trainer out there. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kakuna of the Mele Mele Island. Young Kukui has told me of your coming, and I'm glad we get a chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. What do we even get? We could get, like, crap or greatness. Welcome to today's episode of Crap or Greatness! Oh. Dude, I'm scared. I'm very nervous. We have the options of... You're fucking kidding me. You're kidding, right? This is not real. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst ever choose my starter I think I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Pidgey. 
it, mind you, I could have gotten mid stage forced or uh, mid stage fully evolved legendaries anything, and I'm over here getting a bitch <laughs> Mirren and Grubbin. Oh no! Alola oh, was not treating this a man with kindness. Oh boy. Go ahead and let me know what suffering that I get to go through. Oh god. <laughs> I love you all.